Hey everyone, welcome back to QCR. Today on QCR, we're going to be taking this pork loin, cutting it up, putting some sausage on the inside of it, and we're going to wrap it with this bacon. I'm going to show you how to do that right here on QCR. All right, first thing you want to do, get your handy dandy little knife, open your pork, pork loin fillet, cut down like such. that bad boy out set this in the sink make sure we got some paper towels handy Pull it off. so we're just going to cut down uh, long ways okay now you got him opened up get your sausage out we're not going to use the whole sausage for this, but we're going to continue cutting that sausage for later. Cut the sausage in half, long ways, like that. And you're just going to put the sausage in there. I'm using right brand bacon, applewood thick cut bacon. I get plenty of coverage. Plenty of coverage. That's four, so we're probably gonna need seven pieces. Six and seven. Let me wash my hands. So we're gonna put some seasoning on the inside. We gotta get a little garlic powder, not garlic salt. And we got some slap your mamas. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the slap your mamas. Just a little bit. Perfect. Then our garlic powder, just a little bit of garlic powder. My air conditioner is on, so it's just blowing this stuff everywhere. All right, next we want to do, we got long toothpicks. So I need seven long toothpicks. That's about enough. Actually, I probably only need six. So you're gonna fold this guy up like that. Lay him down. Get your bacon. You can wrap that bacon up. That, here's your special pinky nail. Perfect. Wrap this one up. Pinky nail, perfect. Also guys, since our last video, I got this quartz countertop put in. It's a white quartz countertop. It is ridiculous. You have to dry it really, really good. It shows every single water spot it's like there's always a smear on it i should have got something different and i didn't oh well also if you have an opportunity to get one of these glass cooktops like this glass cooktop here yeah don't do that those things are messy you think they're clean they're not clean they just smear you just wipe and wipe and wipe with clorox wipes all kinds of wipes and just smears everything. Let's take this other piece of bacon, put on the end over here. Wrap that up on us. So what we're gonna do with this today, I got a new Traeger smoker. Bought it yesterday, I already seasoned it. We're gonna take this out there and we're going to put this on the smoker for a few hours. What I'm gonna do is I'm take the rest of this sausage, cut it into little pieces, and I'm gonna cut that bacon. I'm gonna show you what it looks like here after I get done. All right, so the best way to cut this bacon, there's a lot of pieces there, is to get these awesome scissors and just cut big chunks like that. Just lay it in there. It's gonna go in the pan. Cut those big old chunks like that. And this bacon's gonna grease out inside this pan and cook up real nice. So it's gonna be a big, thick, chunk of greasy smoky bacon that's gonna be amazing y'all if y'all do this you're gonna thank me y'all are gonna thank me if y'all ever do this so you do that take your other piece of sausage right here and just cut it cut it in there like that just let it get in the pan it's easier to cut it like this and sit there with that knife and try to cut
cut it and then try and transfer it over. Cooking scissors are the best thing ever. And then when all this is done cooking in a few hours, these are called the little tidbits. So I call them. I don't care if you don't like that I call them tidbits. That's what I'm going to call them. And I'm going to show you how awesome they look when I'm done smoking them. Okay, this is ready to go in the smoker. Let's go get this smoker warmed up. Okay guys, so it's empty. I'm gonna have to put some of these taking pellets in there. So it rained this morning. Don't know if you could see that. Let's get this camera over here. All right, so my hopper is empty because I used it all up yesterday seasoning the inside. It rained this morning, so everything's wet out here. Turn this guy on. So hopefully it still works even though it rained. Menu. I got these pellets. These Traeger pellets. They're called Hickory. It's the premium kind. So we're going to put that much in. I'll show you. It's about that much. Don't put that much in. So it's priming the auger right now. It's getting the pellets in there. Let's get everything going. Pellet in here. So after prime the auger, then we'll uh, light it up. Another thing about this uh, pellet smoker is this right here is adjustable. And you can spin it for it to come up. Close it to go down a little bit, depending on how much smoke you want in there. I don't rec recommend closing it all the way because it could go boom in here. So if you want more smoke, just pinch back, less smoke, open it up. Alright guys, we're up to 230. So this is what the plate's going to look, what the tray's going to look like. All those little pieces of bacon and sausage. We're going to put it on here. Just like that. I'm gonna let it go for one hour. Let me turn this. So I'm gonna let it go for one hour. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna flip it about 90 degrees this way for an hour. Flip it all the way back the other way for an hour. Then I'm gonna flip it right side up for an hour. Gotta get the bacon on this side cooked, and the bacon on this side cooked up. I want it almost crispy. Probably about four hours of cook time at 230 degrees. It's gonna be amazing. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're back. It's actually been a little bit longer than I said it would be. Uh, we're gonna take, take our tongs. We're gonna flip this guy over. Just like that. This is gonna get a lot of the smoke. This bacon right here is coming up real good. Kind of squish it around, break it up a little bit. Get that grease in there, get some smoke between the bacon. Oh yeah, it's gonna come up real good. I had to turn it up. Uh, I thought it was cooking, but apparently it wasn't. Look at that. Look at that. There's little pieces of sausage and bacon in there. Crisping up. Oh goodness, look at that. Oh man, I'm going to pull that out and get that going in the kitchen. Alright guys, we're back inside. Put this, this little glove on. So, that's what it looks like right there. Ooh, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to set it down. Alright guys, here it is. That looks better at this angle. Think about that. So it's pork loin, sausage inside, bacon on the outside. Take the two pigs out. And so we're gonna see how well it cuts. Can we cut through it with our little handy dandy little knife here? Oh, slash right there. Slash. 
last right through it. That's what it looks like there on the inside. Whoopsie! That's how the bacon's crispy and everything on the outside. Alright, let me get my. Right out because it's all right, everyone. I got some little pieces cut off of it, so I want to let it cool down for a second before I put that dragon fire in my mouth so it don't uh, burn me. So that's what we're looking at here little pieces. Got this little piece here, man, that looks sharp, don't it? Mmm, that's real good. Good flavor. I think I left it on a little bit too long, but. It's still really good. Alright, let's take a look at these my little tidbits I got over here. Uh uh. I got a little piece of bacon. Crispy. Crispity crunchy little piece of bacon. Let's see if it's gonna focus. Mmm. It's like powder. Bacon turned into powder. It's so good. So let me go on my left hand. All right. So that's what it looks like from here. So pork one, cut it in half, right? Put sausage in there, wrap it with bacon. Put it on the new smoker. Um, think about the pellet smoker is. I let the pellets run out. Yeah, I know, and then it started cooling down. I had to put more pellets in and heat it back up. Um, so that took me a little bit longer than what it was supposed to take me. But it should be about four hours. Definitely needs to be harder than 2.30, like maybe 3.50. I think my other smoker had a faulty gauge on it, so I thought I was smoking at a temperature that I wasn't smoking at, so that's why I said that. But definitely at least 3.50 for about four hours, flipping it, boom, 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 flippy, flippy. And then... You get these awesome little pieces. They look like that. Pork loin. Man, that flavor is so good. It's like I'm in Flavor Town or something. All right, guys. I appreciate you stopping by my YouTube channel, QCR, Quality Content Rick. I want you to give me a big old thumbs up. Show this video with everyone you know. I'm gonna have leftovers right there. Maybe I'll get them tomorrow. Alright, guys, thanks for stopping by. Peace.